Alrighty, y'all. What's up? Welcome back to the show. We're looking at weird but genius things in Finnish homes. This is going to be interesting because, uh, A, of course, we're looking at sort of, again, European versus North American home differences. That's always interesting. And, uh, of course, Finland in particular, right? Very interesting country. And, uh, you know, it's way north, right? So I want to see if that influences any differences as well. Just really enjoy uh, a lot of when it comes to, like, differences between, uh, you know, transportation, automobiles, and, of course, homes. Uh, it, it's very interesting seeing the differences between, you know, homes that I'd be used to here and, of course, homes uh, throughout different parts of Europe. I think it's really cool. A channel called uh, Tepo Hapoja. I hope I'm saying that right, but I'm probably not. So, uh I do apologize if I uh, butchered that. This will be linked in the description down below so you can watch this whole video uninterrupted and, of course, browse his channel. Let's take a look. Oh, we're going to do a little tour of our home and just show you some cool, unique features that maybe differentiate from North American homes where I'm used to growing up in Canada and what it's like to live cool. here in Finland and things that I love about the Finnish home. Let's start the tour. You might have been wondering earlier why I said it's an absolute must to take off your shoes in a Finnish home. And the yes. reason why is, is that in Finland, we have laminate or wood floors. Mm. And if you're wearing your wet shoes in the house, it doesn't do good for the floor. Right. Which is quite interesting as well, because in Canada or North America, you have a lot of homes with full carpets. But here, we love to have wood floors, laminate floors. I guess it's kind of like nice Scandinavian modern nature feel. Check out my... Yeah, that... Uh... I'd say that was true a while ago. It was like so much carpet overload when I was growing up. So let's say in the 90s in homes, uh, everyone I knew and stuff. But I'd say nowadays, in at least the last decade, maybe even longer, you know, LVP, luxury vinyl plank, wooden floors, uh, just a bunch of, you know, hard floor variations are a lot more common now. Carpet's getting harder to come by, maybe in a couple bedrooms or so. But uh, most of the houses now are uh, getting away from the carpet. My floors. We got these. And uh, I also take my shoes off when I enter the home. I totally agree with that. Oh, wow. Three. My yeah. floors are literally identical to this. Same color and everything. Yeah, flooring. Yep, laminate. I like the like look that. of it, yep. but to be honest, I like the practicality of it because if there's a little bit of crumbs in the ground, you don't notice it. But if it was white or something else, you'd notice it right away. Yeah, that color's... Like that. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to clean anyway, but that color is good for like looking clean or like looking the same. At all okay, the second feature, a really ingenious thing that all finished homes have in our kitchen, we have something called a drying rack. Oh, cool. Basically, when you do the dishes, you know, say you have the smoothie or different things that just don't fit into the dishwasher, you can just put it in here <laughs> and let the water drip into the sink rather than right. having some huge drying rack on your kitchen space that way. So we've done, uh, yeah, where you set up a drying area on the counter or, um, you know, what we, you know, what's kind of funny about us is we will do the dishes by hand in the sink. And then we do have a dishwasher machine in our kitchen. But what's funny is we don't use it, right, for dishwasher. We literally wash our dishes by hand and then we'll put them in the dishwasher because it's kind of that rack system uh, just to dry. <laughs> and then we'll put them away from there later. So that's kind of funny. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, that's something we do. We don't really use it to, to wash them. We wash them manually and then have them dry in there. Uh, but that is cool. I, I, I'm i sure maybe some American homes have that, but definitely not a lot in my experience. Uh, that is a cool setup with those drying racks right above the sink so it drips into the sink. Um, that's pretty pretty cool, actually. You save a lot of countertop space. Yeah, well, you, you do. You don't get the mess of the water dripping in. Now, for Ver and I, we were living in Australia and they didn't have a drying rack like this and we didn't have a washing machine, which meant like we had all these wet dishes all the time yeah. all over the countertop. So when I came back to Finland two years ago, I was like, dang, I really appreciate this yeah. ingenious invention. I have that no is, clue who created it or who invented it. That is cool. But whoever you are, thank you. We really appreciate having this in our home. And also, it just nicely hides into the cupboard yeah. so you can't see anything right now. When it's like this that is actually built in into the closet pretty nifty all right now we're gonna head into our shower and laundry room i'm gonna show you something that's kind of interesting in finland that most people in north america would have but we don't have in finland if you look at this, this is our laundry room okay There's only one machine one we only have washing machines we don't use dryers but what wow. we do use is a drying rack i'll show you how it no works. kidding let me set wow. it up for you and i'll show you how we dry all our clothes so oh my god you take this drying rack you set it up that's different. 
I've never even seen one of those. Um, obviously, in the U.S., you, you have some people, of course, you have clotheslines outside. You could dry them outside. But, of course, uh, you know, nowadays more common would be to have a washing machine and, of course, a dryer in the same room, right? So you have two machines. That's what I've always done. And, uh, damn, that is just, this is different. When you don't <laughs> Having use no it, dryer sounds closet, weird. When you're using it, you have this clothesline for all your clothes. Put them all there. Make them dry. Now, it does take a little bit of extra time to do all this, but the reason why we do this is, well, A, it saves a lot of space in our laundry room, not having to have it a does. drying room. As well, it saves a lot of electricity. It does. And third, it makes your clothes last a lot longer when you don't just throw it from the washing machine into the dryer. Yeah. Instead, you dry them and air dry them. Again, very logical solutions here in Finland. A little more uh, labor involved, but you know what? It's it's not bad. It's not going to kill you, right? It'd be good for you. Um, that I admire this as well. Uh, I don't know if I would just start this like tomorrow, of course. That would have to be a transition period, but he's right. That is better uh, for the clothes, for one. I mean, it is pretty tough on clothes going from the washer, getting tossed around in there for a long time, and then going straight into the hot dryer, right? So, yeah, this, I could see this being uh, definitely easier on the clothes, just a lot more practical for sure, uh, you know, better for energy savings and all that. So, again, big, big time difference. Logical, this is different for very sure. energy saving, and they want to do everything the best they can. So this is the drying rack. I'm gonna throw this back into the closet because yeah, we don't need it right now. Pretty cool, folds right up. Look at that, doesn't take up anything. All right, now it's time to storage. show the one thing that I love the most in our home and that is the sauna. I did do just a video oh, a week or two ago about how I love sauna swimming, but little did you know, it's not just when you're at the cottage, actually every single Finnish home and apartment wow. usually would have a sauna. Come check this out. I've heard, now I haven't reviewed this at all on my channel, so I, I have probably some bits about this to learn, but uh, I think sauna culture in Finland, uh, for example, is so famous that I've just heard of it without even researching it. So uh, the fact that you guys have saunas in your house or apartment, that is so awesome. That is definitely not something you're going to see in average American home. But I tell you what, this would be so freaking cool to have. Oh my God. Look so at this. We the shower There's a here. shower. Nice shower. Sauna. Oh my God. This so is so cool. Home, we have the sauna. We'll <laughs> crank up the ISO for you guys. Yeah. Look at we'll that. 20,000 ISO. There's the rocks there where we throw the water. Wow. But I love this guy. The sauna is the best. That is so is freaking in cool. Finland because, you know, after a long day outside, you're super cold or maybe you go for an evening run and you just want to warm up. Yeah. Perfect place in the evening with your wife. Just sit in the sauna. Oh, that enjoy, sounds amazing. relax, talk, have some good quality time. It's probably the one place where you can't bring your phone, meaning you just yeah. have good old quality time and conversation. That's a good point. But yeah, saunas. It's a great invention. Every single home in the world, maybe not in warm countries, but at least in cold countries, all cold countries should have a sauna. Super nice, super relaxing, yeah. super enjoyable. I'm surprised that's not common in like Canada, most of can uh, Canadian homes, and most of at least the northern U.S. homes, right? Of course, it stays hot down south uh, part of the country you know, pretty much all year, but that would be amazing. That, that would be so cool, especially, you know, in Illinois here, that would be wow. Uh, that is just so this not common here. To be I don't think I've ever seen even rich homes here have a sauna like that. That Finland sauna is like so freaking cool. My As you can see, Finnish homes are very minimalistic. We love it. Just very modern, clean look, very natural, a lot of wood, a lot of brown tones and whites. And it's important. It's important because we really want to enjoy our home because we spend a lot of time inside the home when it's winter time. So having a nice home is really enjoyable. But before I end the tour, I still want to take you outside and show you. Yeah, I'd say that's the trend with modern U.S. homes or renovated homes too. A lot of neutral tones, right? A lot of whites, beige, grays. Um, and then, of course, um, you know, like uh, wooden accents or like stone accents, right? Uh, and you know what? It, it If done right, it actually looks really pleasing and looks really nice and uh, relaxing. Uh, and then it also can look bland, too. It just kind of depends on how well it's executed, right? Obviously, having a super colorful, crazy house would look uh, a, a bit ridiculous, right, or overwhelming. So you got to kind of find that medium. But, uh, 
Yeah, this home is looks well done. A I few mean, it things looks, that looks I might nice. think are really cool here in Finland that something might be really interesting for you guys from North America or from different cultures. Okay, something that's really interesting in Finland is that we have these things called Dalauhtios. Basically, all these eight apartments here in our little uh, center, we are all part of the one group and basically we share a lot of things. So even now I'm going to take you, we have this little storage and instead of everyone owning, for example, a lawnmower or tools to do gardening or something, or for example, there's a water pressure in here that I always wash the cars with, um, we all share it. So wow. instead of having eight lawnmowers, I don't have another hand to make the other three, but instead of having eight lawnmowers, we just have one. And if we want to buy gas, one person's been designated to go buy the gas for a lawnmower or if something breaks or we need more tools, they take out of a fund that we all pool into and we share that money. But check it out. So wow, for example, that's here, different. This is kind of like a storage unit thing, but lawnmower here water pressure thing whatever it's called in the english i don't remember anyways to hose off the car you know if we have gardening tools here everything is just shared which is really cool and really not normal in the individualist society that we live right. in nowadays that people would share but it's worked yeah that is definitely different um it is I, it it's actually pretty cool for certain like people it, like if if that works for you that is definitely better I can see a lot of advantages to that, right? And it's not as, I guess, wasteful and individual list, right? So that's pretty cool. Uh, I It definitely, I wouldn't like that, right, at first, just because I'm used to having my own stuff, right? Uh, but, yeah, that is definitely a lot well, different than here. I don't have to here. buy my own lawnmower, <laughs> buy my own garden tools, rather. We just share it all, which is really cool. Really I mean, enjoyed. having it shared is definitely more cost-effective. I mean, I've spent... Uh, I, I never want to add it up because I've spent thousands of dollars on, you know, outdoor equipment and lawn equipment and stuff to maintain our, our property here. So it's definitely not cheap. That, you know? Finland, that we still <laughs> I'll give have, you that. Kind of this community sense when it comes to your neighborhood. All right, let's close this door and I'll let all the heat out. The last thing that I think is really cool about our house or something that I really love is that we have these massive garage things. It's not a garage that you just drive into, but you at least have a roof. Yeah. The reason why this is so important is that when you live in a cold country and it's snowing almost every day or every other day, you don't want to have to remove the snow off your car. Yeah. So as you can see, no snow right now. And the second thing is, I, I actually don't know why this happens. This is a little bit of a mystery. But when you have your car underneath one of these little roof carport things, your windshield never freezes. Whoa. And if That's you're in weird. a cold country or if you live in a cold country or have ever been I to a cold country, I wonder why that is. You know how much of a pain in the butt it is to, in the morning when you're here yeah. at 7 in the morning, in the morning yeah. you scrape off your car windows, it's minus 10 out. Yeah, that's no fun at all. You don't want to do that. So That's weird because the cars are technically still outside even though they're partially covered. wonder why they don't get defrost on the windshield. That is uh, bizarre, but it's awesome. I mean, I was lucky at... Uh, one of the apartments uh, I lived in when I was younger, we had a regular enclosed garage, so that was really cool. Uh, but then again, another apartment I was at when I was younger didn't have any garage, any carport, anything. So this is pretty nice, of course. It just depends on where you go, even here in the U.S. But that was a weird but genius tour of things in Finnish homes. That was uh, actually really well done. A lot of things were very different and uh, pretty practical and logical. And that's why I love seeing things like this. It really opens your mind to some cool ideas and, and how things are done that are totally different than you know what I'm familiar with. So I would love to hear what you have to say in the comments uh, about Finnish homes or about homes wherever you're watching from that maybe are really cool and really unique uh, that maybe you know aren't featured on homes uh, from at least here in the U.S. where I'm watching from. Enlighten me in the comments if you would. Make sure to click that link in the description down below so you can watch this whole video uninterrupted. Definitely throw a like on there if you enjoyed this or at least learned something. Uh, subscribe to be part of this amazing community we do have on this channel. My name is Ian. You're watching 9W Rocker and until next time y'all, I'll catch you later.